All right. What's up, brother? You're good. How you doing? Good. Good to see ya. <laughs> How was the trip? Came, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good, good, good. The guy had like this huge SUV, so it was hard for him to get up here. Really? Yeah. Thank you so much again for inviting me out. Yeah, totally. Please, do it. Is it cool if I record or? Yeah, yeah, totally, yeah. This is moving to here. This is serious vibes. This is where we, uh, I like you just have like one fan going on. That's yeah. great. So you know when it turns off the fucking lights or fan, right? Yeah. I know, right? Yeah, get some really cool content. My, my idea is I want to start documenting behind the scenes more. Yeah. And so I'm thinking get a bunch of like um, you know, gym shots, like us working out. I've seen your videos, yeah. Okay, like cool, that. yeah. I mean, you know like Gary Vee style? Okay? Gary Vee. I know exactly So Gary Vee style with more of the fun... Like, do you know Justin Escalona? Yes, bro, that's so, my favorite fucking YouTuber on the planet. A mix of both, right? Yeah. So business, but then also the fuck around, just have fun stuff. Definitely. I mean, you live in the Hollywood Hills, that's all it's about, right? 100%. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So, hey, John. Good to see you, man. Hey, Joe. Hey, Dominic. Hey, no. What's up, bro? Dominic. Dominic. Uh, Billy, you ever see me? We're actually filming the vlog, you guys on Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Dominic. Dominic what? Dominic. Dominic MVP. That's like my Elias that I go through. MVP? MVP. Most valuable player. That's MVP. How's it going? How you doing? How you doing? What's your name? Dominic. Dominic. I would shake your hand, but I Yeah. Tatum, nice to meet you. I got my games in this morning, so I have all my tools. I'm so ready. I've been waiting for this moment in my entire life um, to work out with my hands. Oh. Oh. And to be like some wicked face masks. Don't face film, mask. Don't film this. <laughs> I don't want anyone knowing my beauty secrets. Yo, did you know that? <laughs> did you know that Justin Bieber is like that? Did you know that spicy things like that are men are just called spicy? Things, so. Like, think about like Cheetos, right? They're spicy, they're hot. But then if you look at peppermint, it's just cold spicy. Think about that. Wow! <laughs> I mean, I feel like every single thing you consume, doesn't matter what it is, whether it's conversations with other people, or if it's just what you watch on YouTube or the music you listen to as well. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I love rock music, but it's so yeah. negative most of the time. It's always like, I fucked up, like, why'd you leave me? Versus rap music, it's always like, I'm gonna get this money. I'm yeah. gonna go. People always, they always talk about the positive, the money, you know. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, a lot of it may be materialistic, but it's all about that chase and yeah. that progression. And that's why, like, whether it's the content you're consuming on YouTube, it's like whatever blog content, who you're, whoever you're watching, or if it's just the music you listen to, or just the people you're around, obviously, um, all that takes an effect of. Kind of who you become next day, and you know, from there on out. And this right here, all vegan, veggie grill. Man, everything on the entire menu is amazing. Are you vegan? I'm vegan. Choose I grew up, man, eating meat every single day, mm -hmm. and thinking I hated vegetables until I played sports, and I would get hurt every single year. Yeah. Little did I know, all the meat I was eating. I was doing nothing more than breaking my body down and using way too much energy to digest. Let's do it. My test. Eat some beer first. I'm moving. I'm Go, 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 go.
saying it, you know, we're putting in the work, we're putting in the actions, you know, we want a result. The only way you're going to get a result is putting in the action. You know, consistency is the biggest key. Now, the mental aspect of always having that discipline is obviously huge. You have to develop that, but it's a lot harder to just be by yourself or have all these other negative people around you and having to always be like, nope, don't listen to them, just do your own thing, because I did that for the longest time. But it's so much better and so much more rewarding to like have the same mentality while you're with other people. They say if you surround yourself by successful people, you will be successful. You know, and vice versa. You know, we're all going towards the same goal, you know, and that is to become our greatest versions and you know to be at the greatest, you know, of our greatest version of who we want to be, you know, in every single aspect. Every single moment we have. You know, it's a moment we have to embrace and take full advantage of, you know. Every moment, dude. Every moment. I'm blessed to have you in my life, bro. Right. Positive, right. hardworking motherfucker. That makes me bro. level up. You're the hardest motherfucker I've ever met. <laughs> hardest working motherfucker I've ever met, man. You oh, can yeah, say man. the same about me. And bro, with that attitude, you know, and that work ethic, man, we'll be at the top. You know, let's crush it. We will absolutely. Focus on yourself, be around the right people, and go crush it too. Absolutely. Check it out. He's <laughs> like, <laughs> no hiding. This is kind of what we do behind the scenes every single day. Usually it's just us working. Martez. Hello, hello. We got a solid workout in earlier today. Mm. And my goal is well, he's super, you know, full vegan and mm. he's part of the perfect diet and, you know, his whole entire. My routine's on point, so I'm trying to really get my routine more dialed in and everything. It's getting there, especially when you have oh, yeah. Ken, this he, guy around. Man, this man works extremely hard, so I mean, I have 100% faith that he will achieve his goals. He'll be looking... I'm like, trying to bulk up. Like, I don't care about being defined anymore. You I'm like, you I want to be a man, man. Dude, I want to be fucking... 300 pounds and lean that. Exactly. 30 pounds, 10% body fat. I know exactly. You want to just be one of those. 
Not fully like that, but I mean, like a sprinter. Yeah. Olympic sprinter. That's nice. Nice. Sure. That's cool. nice. I feel like that looks fine, in my opinion. <laughs> Maybe because I'm just ultra skinny, so I'm just like, I'd fucking, uh, I'm <laughs> chilling with that. I was back in high school, and I had no mass on my body. Like, oh, I yeah, I saw that, though. You were shredded. Well, so that was senior yeah. year. Junior year, I was super skinny. Like, yeah. my arm was literally, like, my wrist. It was that. Oh, like, God. it's crazy. Like, a big difference. But I, I yeah. mean, for me, it's whatever a person wants in their body. But for me, yeah. I didn't want that. So I was like, all right, how do I go bulk up? So yeah, yeah. I was eating. I'd go through a jar of Skippy peanut butter probably once every three days. Like a full oh, on down the side jar. I was spoon me all the time. I'd scoop it out. Just eat peanut butter. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, I was, I'd, in the, every, every single morning, I'd go to the grocery store and buy these family sized TV dinners. And buy like three of them. That was just for my meals at school. So, like these giant ass TV dinners. You're eating crazy. Oh, yeah. I was going to the bathroom for like three minutes. Yeah. God. <laughs> but yeah, I put on some size. Yeah. I'm not sure. And then I lost some of it and then yeah. trying to get it back a little bit. So this is the one of the iconic Hollywood signs. Um, there's, I think, three or four of these houses that have them. Mm -hmm. um, our neighbors are the ones with the really big audiences that everyone knows. So whenever people see the sign, they're like, is that the cloud house? Well, that's, I think, both of those houses. Um, they're definitely a lot bigger than this one. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, this is not the metal place. All right, we're still rolling. You want to say, oh, we'll probably, like, how'd you get your start? Yeah. So, how'd you get your start? Well, I got my start when I was 18, but I went to an all-guys, you know, Catholic school. And basically, it was August 2016. I'm working at a subway full-time, or part-time, really, um, and not really doing anything thing with my life. Um, I had a girlfriend at the time, and I was really just being like, okay, I'm just gonna... I was just stagnant. I was not progressing in any way, and, you know, I kind of... I was a dumb kid at the time, really. And so... Um, it wasn't until I had, you know, my life really flipped upside down and, you know, kind of shaking a little bit that made me realize, okay, I need to go work hard and actually do shit with my life. Basically, my stepmom cheated on my dad for his best friend, uh, but before she did, my dad found out, she convinced my dad to kick me out of the house. And so I ended up uh, staying full time at my grandparents' house. I've, I've had a crazy life experience with my family and stuff, but basically my grandfather at my grandparents' house I was staying at, he ended up passing away. And then uh, my girlfriend at the time, she went off to college and then, you know, there's, uh, she broke up with me in a way that really tore me apart. And so all of a sudden, you know, I finally had all these things happen to me, right? Not things that no one goes through, just things that for me was a personal, like really hard time. And all of a sudden I look at, looked at myself in the mirror and realized, wow, I'm just some kid that has nothing going for him. All my friends were having fun in college and working towards their goals and everything. I was at such a depressed state and I finally realized like, you know what, if I'm gonna change my life, I need to go take action. And so literally out of nowhere, I decided to um, quit my job at Subway, just move out to California um, with just a thousand dollars I saved up. And I had no idea what I was gonna do in California. I knew no one in California. Um, just decided to move out there and I made it happen. And then um, basically, <laughs> flash forward very quickly, two years, I became the marketing director at a student housing company when I was 19. I picked up a camera, started taking some photos, realized I loved creating content. So then I moved to California, or, uh, Santa Barbara, became the marketing director. Um, that was a fun job, learned pretty much all the skills that I have, skill sets I have now um, at a basic level enough for me to realize like, wow, I actually love marketing and branding and all this like, you know, online stuff. And so I decided to, out of nowhere, quit my job. And I was in school temporarily when I moved to Santa Barbara. I decided to go to the city college uh, right next door to, you know, kind of the place I was living. And out of nowhere, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go start a business and go pursue this entrepreneurship thing I was thinking about. So I literally quit my job, quit school, booked a one-way ticket to Maui, Hawaii, to go start my business and pretty much flash forward two years yeah from that which was about a month ago so a month ago was two years from that day um, that I started everything and that was kind of like what really started this whole journey and all that so what is your goal what do you feel like your purpose is for yeah I mean basically my goal is to help people realize that you know obviously you can Become whoever you want to become, as long as you just get a crystal clear vision of that person. 
and you take the necessary steps and actions to actually bring it to life, but then also just kind of shake things up, make people realize like, look, there's a different way to live your life. Turn off the lights. Electricity bills here are free. <laughs> Who else lived here before? We've had a lot of people live, like in the actual house while I've been here. Yeah. No, no, not in that while, like just in general. Like. So many, I mean, like you said earlier, like 20 Savage lives here, which is kind of cool. Yeah. I think the weekend lived in this house with that house. This is fucking huge. Yeah. Um, is that Bro's Law? Yeah, probably. That's all of his art, yeah. Um, cool, right? I think Justin Bieber lived at that house, the clown house, what? which this house is. <laughs> yeah, that's the most annoying dog I've ever met. <laughs> Alright, so. Howdy. So, yeah. How's it going? <laughs> uh, that's the little guy out there? Little guy. He's so cute. Oh. Hey, Merry Christmas, thank you. <laughs>